Adani, the business that wants to build Australia's biggest coal mine, is facing multiple financial crime and corruption probes in India. Authorities there are looking into the prospect that the company may have siphoned money offshore and artificially inflated power prices at the expense of Indian consumers. Stephen Long reports. Fraud, corruption, money laundering. These are the claims denied by Adani, but still dogging it in its home country. The Adani uh, companies, amongst a number of companies in India which are being investigated by the Indian government for financial crime. The Directorate of Revenue Intelligence in India is making allegations against different Adani companies of fraudulent invoicing for both coal imports and capital equipment imports. They're very serious allegations. It's typical of trade-based money laundering. A document obtained by the ABC from the investigating agency alleges that the modus operandi was to artificially inflate the price of Indonesian coal imports using fake invoices for the purpose of siphoning off money abroad to allegedly avoid tax and to fraudulently push up power prices for consumers. There is an irony. Our government's saying that we need to export coal in order to alleviate Indian energy poverty and yet at the same time the Indian government is charging that Adani has been inflating the price of coal imports at the expense of the Indian people through higher electricity prices. None of this worries the responsible minister. I've spoken to Adani myself about it. They, uh, they've, they say they've complied with uh, the Indian authorities. Uh, they are very confident they'll be cleared. Adani says the allegations are baseless and far-fetched from the laws of the land. I'll certainly be very keen to see uh, if there is any evidence that uh, needs to be uh, looked at further. Uh, but from our perspective, we're look very focused on uh, what Adani uh, is offering at this stage to the people of Queensland. One of the companies under investigation owns the Adani business that holds the environmental approvals for the planned mine and a railway the government is preparing to back with a billion dollar subsidised loan. Australia's foremost expert on money laundering is urging it to hold off. No Australian bank or financial institution or government should finance um, any transaction where there are allegations of financial impropriety or crime on foot. Nothing uh, at this stage uh, concerns me about this project, uh, um, but I will stress that the federal government's made no decision on funding uh, of the rail line uh, for Adani uh, is a matter for the independent expert board. We've asked that expert board at the Northern Australia Infrastructure Facility just which Adani company has applied for the loan. Is it owned in a tax haven? Is it linked to companies facing fraud allegations? The expert board won't say. Stephen Long, ABC News.